has an official name. It's called the Alert Tech 5001 DC. DC because it runs on DC instead of AC. There's another version, the 5001 AC as well. Now this is just a proof of concept version just to show that the design is good but I'm going to be make at some point I'm going to be making an actual design that is inside a metal box and everything. But here's the temporary one. See? Proof of concept. Alertec 5001 DC. Silence, reset, and drill. I'm going to be demonstrating it, and I have my local fire alarm Faraday arrow handle pull station from the 70s. And I also have my Simplex 4051 on the 405080 light plate, also from the 70s. And relay based panels were around in the 70s and 80s, in case we were you're curious. Yeah. Yeah, this is a relay-based panel. There's two relays in it, but two relays is all you need. But I have a third relay because this button is normally open. The reset button needs to be normally closed. But I had I added a relay that basically acts as a not gate to reverse it so that it becomes normally closed instead of normally open. Okay? So, and I also have a 75 beat per minute solid state flasher from a federal signal general signaling alarm so here goes there's a latching circuit. Now, the latching circuits with relays are actually really, really easy to build. So, yeah. Now, let's just reset it. There. Just like that. Drill switch. Silence. Reset. And actually, you can just reset it. You can just reset it without having to silence it as well. So the solid state flasher is inside the alarm right here. It's not inside the panel. It's inside the actual horn right here. It's in this box. And you, did you notice the delay? When this panel activates, it's instant. But the solid state flasher creates a delay. I can actually change it around. You probably won't be able to see this. But I'm going to disconnect the flasher. There. There. The horn's not held in by screws because this isn't the right back box for it. The back box does work, but the screws that came with it are too short. It was designed for Space Age Electronics light plates. Here's that flasher I took out. Okay. simple panel. Reset. Now it's only one back as you can see, but I could add another one if I wanted to. Let's do that one more time.
There. A drill switch doesn't work be right now because it's already activated. Reset. Now, if the zone isn't reset, then the signal does not... If the zone isn't reset, the panel doesn't reset. Okay. I'm going to put that splasher back in now. Ah! That was a close one. If this were the 8005, I'd be done changing the signal coding by now. But, yeah, that's one of the little problems with this panel is you can't really change the signal coding easily. Yeah. <sighs> Although, if I wanted to, I could approve it to add a switch that changes between continuous and march time. Or, in this case, real slow march time. Yeah. So. Okay, now I want to see if I can show you how it works. Kind of messy, but it's only proof of concept. Now the top relay is the alarm relay, the bottom one is the silence relay. Now how this works is you start with a common, okay? Your alarm signal comes into common wire, and yeah, it goes into common wire. Comes in, turns the relay on. Then when the relay turns on, it connects the circuit which actually creates an infinite loop to keep the relay on. Alright. And then when you press the reset button, it breaks that infinite loop and the relay turns back off. Pretty simple, right? The silenced relay works the same way. Only... Yeah. It works the same way, only it is reset by cutting the power to it completely. And the silenced relay... It's basically another one of these alarm relay setups, only I have a si I only have a button wired in place of a pull station. So there's basically like two little relay latching circuits inside it. And I got some LEDs in there. And this is actually an iBook charger. They put out 24 volts and one amp. Enough for a really, really small system. Like, an, like somebody new to alarms would have. So that's it. That's the Alartec 5001, formerly known as the Quickie.